free crypto. That's essentially what you're getting with airdrops. See, having airdrops automatically being sent to your crypto wallet means you're walking away with potentially thousands of dollars in free crypto for basically doing nothing. Having the knowledge of when these airdrops are happening are extremely valuable, but also knowing what to look out for so your account doesn't get scammed is even more important. And that's exactly what we're going to be talking about in today's video. Yo, 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 what is up, guys? It's your boy, Forrest. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how you can get in on these free crypto airdrops where you can find them, how you can make money from them, and showing you what to look out for so you don't get scammed and lose all your money. But before we get into the video, if you guys want to earn crypto just for signing up, which I don't know who wouldn't, Coinbase gave me a special link where all you have to do is sign up and you guys can earn crypto. Now, Coinbase is the easiest place to buy and sell cryptocurrency. So if you guys want to sign up, I'll leave a link to them down in the description box below. While you're there, make sure you guys smash that like button, subscribe if you guys haven't already. I make videos all about money, finance, crypto, all that good stuff stuff so make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos okay so what is an airdrop well you're probably thinking of a care package falling from the sky like what you see in movies and in games with crypto it is kind of like that essentially a protocol is sending you a care package aka free crypto for being an early user in its platform now this can be one of two things from the protocol a thank you for being a valuable customer or a marketing strategy that attracts a lot of new users to its platform the first airdrop in crypto we saw came from new Uniswap back in September of 2020, with them dropping 400 Uniswap tokens to every single user, which at the time had a value of $1,200 and now it's worth almost $5,000. We also had the ENS protocol, which airdropped over $500 million worth of tokens to its users if their wallets met a certain criteria. Now, to give you an idea of what I mean by meeting a criteria, ENS broke up its users into three buckets low tier users who got 250 ENS tokens, mid tier who got 500. ENS tokens and the most active users who got 1,000 ENS tokens, which if they haven't sold yet would be worth around $20,000 just for interacting with the platform regularly. Now, before we get into the more specifics of airdrops and how you can make money with them, I want to address something I get asked a lot. So let's say, for example, a protocol is giving out free tokens to anyone who is staking, let's say, Ethereum or any other coin. Well, the obvious question here is why would a company do this? Aren't they just losing a bunch of money by providing free money to people? Well, yes and no. Yes to the fact that they are giving out free money in crypto, but no in the sense that the hype a successful airdrop will generate for a project by getting them a ton of new users would be worth a lot more than what they are giving out in the airdrop. Keep in mind that acquiring customers is extremely expensive and companies spend millions of dollars every year to do so. So having a successful airdrop can really speed up the process of having all these new people coming into your protocol. And it could be a lot cheaper than traditional ways of acquiring new customers. Now, when it comes to airdrop, we have a few different types. These are just a few different ways which you can become eligible for these airdrops. The first one is the regular or standard airdrop, which all you need to know is sign up for the account, provide your wallet address, and you'll receive the tokens. The next is a bounty airdrop where in order to be eligible you have to promote the platform so in this case you could be tweeting about the project or signing up for a newsletter this airdrop does require a few more extra steps but the activities are usually pretty easy to complete and finally the last type of airdrop we have is the holder airdrop which is a protocol giving crypto to your wallet based on if you're holding a certain coin so a real example of a holder airdrop that happened recently was the sos token airdrop from OpenDAO. what OpenDAO did to raise awareness for their project is they said anyone who has ever bought or sold an NFT on OpenSea would be eligible for the airdrop and the more transactions you've made, the more tokens you'll get. As you can imagine, this marketing strategy worked out really well as a lot of people were buying and selling on OpenSea just to receive this airdrop. So I'm sure they had a bunch of new users sign up to their platform just because of the airdrop. Okay, so now you know what an airdrop is, but how do you find them? How do you make money from it? Essentially, what you're going to be doing is looking for the biggest platforms that don't have a token yet. Now, there are a ton of resources you guys can use to do this, but I'll name a couple for you guys. The first one I check out is Earn.Fi. Now, on this website, you'll enter your wallet address and it'll tell you if you qualify for any airdrops that you haven't claimed yet. Now, this is really nice because it's hard to keep track of all the platforms you enter and connect your wallet with. With this way, you can see any airdrops you haven't claimed yet and go ahead 
ahead and claim them. Now they do have a paid version as well that allows you to see other things so you can look into that as well if you're interested. There's also airdrops.io that shows you the latest and potential airdrops. If you want you can also follow DeFi airdrops on Twitter and what they do is they post about airdrops and look into the smart contracts within them and tell you if it's safe to claim them or not. There's also DeFi Llama. Now if you click on their airdrops button on the left panel on their website they'll list all the protocols that don't have a token yet that may be doing an airdrop in the future. So if you want to get a head start on picking these coins before anybody else you guys can do that through this website. But just know it isn't 100% that these protocols will be doing airdrops so keep that in mind. Also when it does come to airdrops one thing to know is the bigger the better. So the more total value locked or TVL something has the more likely the protocol will have an airdrop. There's also this guy named Gene Brassy eth on twitter who put together a google sheet on potential protocol airdrops now i'll leave a link to this down in the description box below but as you can see there's a ton of protocols on this list and it shows the protocol status the action required to meet the criteria for the airdrop and if it is likely gonna happen or not i think this is a great start and will get you guys in the right direction but you really have to get creative and go on discord groups twitter reddit threads company websites to try and find projects that you think might release an airdrop and start interacting with their platforms some big potential airdrops to be aware of right now is MetaMask. Now, the CEO came out and said on a podcast that the company will be going decentralized and introducing a token in the near future. Now, this isn't going to be as easy as just having an account and receiving tokens. It's been rumored that in order to be eligible for the airdrops, you'll have to do some type of swap within MetaMask. Now, the thing that's going to suck with all this is the gas fees, but I think it'll be worth it considering the size of MetaMask and the amount of money they have. But just do keep in mind that these swaps I talked about are just rumors and may or may not make you eligible for the airdrop but it'll definitely give you a better odd remember the overall goal of getting into the airdrop space is to try and interact with as many platforms as possible so you're giving yourself the best odds at receiving multiple airdrops if you wanted to give yourself a broad range of possible airdrops consider staking the cosmos token atom now i made a video on this a couple weeks ago but essentially the interoperability of cosmos and the fact that all the blockchains are connected meaning when new project is built on cosmos's blockchain you're automatically a part of their project which means you should be eligible for the airdrop as well now we've already seen airdrops from juno osmosis comdex and stargaze just to name a few so if this interests you and you want to receive a whole bunch of airdrops from a whole bunch of different projects consider looking into cosmos and maybe staking the atom token now with the first airdrop only happening a year and a half ago it's introduced a whole new area to crypto there's tons of new developers coming into space and creating projects that have their own airdrops which can also have a lot of scams as well. Scammers are catching on to airdrops and you best believe there's going to be a lot of rug pulls and tokens set up specifically just to scam you. So make sure you're using these best practices to never get scammed. First thing you can do is when you're receiving your airdrops, never ever enter your seed phrase or wallet password into anything. If you're unaware of what I'm talking about, it's that long combination of random words you get when you sign up for your wallet, like MetaMask or any other wallet. If you're entering these into anything except your wallet accounts, there's a very high likelihood of it being a scam and you possibly losing your money another best practice is when you find a project you think will do an airdrop look at its twitter account to see what they're posting who's retweeting it and ask yourself are there any credible people talking about it what are the comments looking like what are they saying also i suggest scrolling through the project's website to see if it looks legit see who's on their team sometimes you'll see that the project won't have any members of the team announced and while that may not be a total red flag with things becoming more decentralized and anonymous it is definitely an alert you want going off in your head because if the whole team is anonymous there's no one to hold accountable if you're looking at their website and something feels fishy hop on youtube and see if there's any coverage see if anyone's talking about it looking at the project's telegram or discord group will tell you a lot about the community's backing as well the first thing you should always look at is how many members are in this group next look at how active the members are are people talking constantly in the group are they engaging with one another one thing to know is that there's actually bot accounts out there that scammers use to make it seem like a discord group or channel has has a lot of members so make sure that they are actually active users and they're actually using the channels and they aren't just bots the last thing I'd say is to be cautious of your transactions. Whenever you're receiving an airdrop, it is most likely going to be a transaction through your wallet and you're going to have to approve it. So make sure the airdrop is the amount that you're expecting and it's going to the correct address. I also heard that there was a scam not too long ago where everything looked normal, but the wallet address was actually going to the scammer and they were receiving everyone's airdrop. So make sure you're actually checking that the money is going to your right and correct address. 
But there's going to be a ton of airdrops this year and a ton of opportunities for you to make some extra money by literally doing nothing. While this is extremely exciting, we also have to understand that scammers are smart and will take our money with no mercy. So be careful, have fun with crypto, and be smart with what you're doing. Also, if you guys are looking to buy crypto, I suggest checking out crypto.com. They have all the top cryptos you guys would ever like to buy. So if you guys are interested, I'll leave a link to it down in the description box below. But I really do hope this video helped you guys out. And as always, have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys in next week's video. Peace.